We want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors the apostles of Great Millstone. And everybody who's teaching the word of sincerity. All right? Check this out. Hey, Shalom. Kahala. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Kodash. Double honors the apostles of Great Millstone. And show along to you brothers on the highways and byways doing the work sincerely and faithfully and continually fighting that good fight of faith and continue and contending for the truth. Alright, so tonight's lesson is gonna be entitled The Day White America Was Paralyzed. Peace out. Now this is gonna go back from go back to the OJ Simpson case back in ninety four. And um you had a whole you had a whole a whole country of people, Edomites primarily who were absolutely shocked and dismayed due to the fact that OJ was found not guilty for the murders of his wife and Ron Goldstein or Golds, Goldsberg, whatever the hell his name was, okay? But this is also going to show you that Esau, he don't give a goddamn about him, about anybody but his own, man. And this is going to be clear, okay? Because the lead detective, Mark Furman, I'm going to play a clip, okay? He was the one that was the lead detective. He was the one that, you know, called all the shots. And he was called on tape, <clears throat> saying the N-word, racist, you know, doing all kinds of different things. He got found out that he was a crooked-ass cop, crooked-ass Edomite, a Roman centurion, basically. And one more thing, the brother from Chicago, Brother Malcolma, uh, uh, brought this out earlier that uh ron goldman was like a third degree black belt right uh they found skin under his nails said uh his feet were dug into the ground you know like the big wide stance you know like like a like a bruce lee stance his uh his knuckles were uh were bruised where he he beat the hell out of somebody you know and uh oj had one little scratch on you know so i mean <laughs> How could he have possibly done it? He may have paid somebody to do it. But, you know, how could he have possibly have done that? Ron Goldman beat the hell out of somebody before he got murked. You know? You know, before he uh before the most high took him out. Anyhow, let me let me keep playing this. There's a lot of evidence that nobody knows about. And, you know, it's a, it's a simple fact that Edomites went crazy when uh when they found him not guilty, but he was not guilty in a court of law. In in their court of law, he was not guilty. Yet in their minds, he was guilty. And everybody knows why. Anyhow, let me continue on. Well, at some point in time, during the trial, you know, it was being known or found out that he, he was a crooked cop, man. Okay? And Johnny, Cro and Johnny Cochran and the boys, you know, seen through all his bullshit. So all that being said, you got a nation of people who was so up in arms concerning, you know, O.J. Simpson being found not guilty, they didn't care, man. They didn't care about the not guilty verdict. They wanted this man to hang. You know, here O.J. was before a court, before a, a, a court of law, and Esau's law, before a jury, primarily whites, so-called white people, they found the man not guilty. But when I play the clip, man, just look and listen to how these crackers react. All right, so let me play this clip first of Mark Furman. And you know he was a, he's the lead devil, but, but check it out. Detective Furman, would you please resume the witness stand? Hey, and one more thing. Uh, they found several shoe prints. There were several people there. You know, uh, Mark Furman was fighting. Who was he fighting? He was fighting somebody. Right? See, none of this adds up. This is why he was found not guilty. This is why he was found not guilty. Because uh, he, cause he didn't do it. You know, the thing with these Edomites, man, is they, they, uh, they had, had to get some nigga. Had to get somebody for it. So why not, uh, why not OJ? Why not him? All right, good afternoon, Detective. Good afternoon, John. Uh, you're reminded, sir, that you were still under oath. Mr. Alman, you may proceed. Detective. 
determine, uh, was the testimony that you gave in this case completely truthful? I wish to assert my Fifth Amendment privilege. Have you ever falsified a police report? I wish to assert my Fifth Amendment privilege. Is it your intention to assert your Fifth Amendment privilege with respect to all questions that I ask you? Yes. I only have one other question. What was that, Mr. Uh, Detective Furman, did you plant or manufacture any evidence in this case? I assert my Fifth Amendment privilege. So in other words, yep, he sure did. See, the Edomites are allowed to do whatever the hell they want to do. Right? This is the lead detective. The lead detective. If he was an up, upstanding citizen to protect and serve, wouldn't you think he would unequivocally say, No, I never did anything like that. Nope, but he pleads the fifth. That should tell you everything, man. But see, Edomites, and uh, well, really all these other nations, but Edomites have just sweeped that under the rug saying, Well, he didn't say yay or nay. We don't know everything that happened. Well, he's the, head, he's the head detective. He know. He planted the damn evidence, man. Uh, look, here's, 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 here's another thing. When uh, when when you take a suspect's blood to the crime scene, that's a problem. They asked him, uh, I believe they asked him, uh, when does that ever happen? And they were like, well, that hardly ever happens. Why would you take, why would you take, uh, OJ's blood to the crime scene. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Anyhow, let me keep going. Alright, so here you have this devil lead detective now. Okay? This dude was asked four questions, and each question that was asked of him, he wanted to insert his Fifth Amendment privilege. Alright? So one of the key questions was did he plant or manufacture any evidence in that case? Yep. You know, if he was an upstanding citizen, you know, uh, uh, sworn to protect and serve, he should have said emphatically, no, I never did anything of the like. God. But he couldn't. So now, mind you, white America wanted OJ to hang regardless of what this devil did. The whole trial was hanging on this devil's actions, man. How, how do you expect a jury to find a man guilty when the lead detective comes back after being told he was under oath, comes back and says, I want to insert my Fifth Amendment privilege on, you know, several questions con concerning his, his credibility, man. But white America didn't care about that. They wanted O.J. dead. All right? This is Nahum 3 and 1. It says, woe to the bloody city. It is full it is all full of lies and robbery and the prey departeth not. Okay? Once again, America is that bloody city, man. God. It is all full of lies and robbery. This is why Esau can lie and not have no consequences handed down to him. You know? But if anybody else gets on the stand and lies, they're looking at perjury charges. They're looking at facing prison time. Okay? So the next scripture we're gonna go to is uh let me go let me go to uh Job twenty and twelve. It says, Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Okay? And isn't that what Mark Firm is doing? He's he's hiding the truth. You know, I he but uh, by pleading the fifth amendment. These devils got no remorse for anybody, man. They don't care. You know, and the brother kindly put that by saying he's hiding the truth. No, that motherfucker. It's locked. Excuse my language. No, Esau was lying. Straight up lying. Okay? There's a difference between hiding the truth and lying. He was lying. Okay? John 8, 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your, of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. Uh, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is the liar and the father of it. All right? And
And that's that's the now that's the truth. Right? Let's go with uh well, uh, all right, let me keep reading. Uh, yeah, John 8, 45, right? And, and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not, right? These devils, man, these devils are going down. Oh, nothing but their own. Let me play this other clip, man. This is, this is the good one. We're going to see how white America was paralyzed. And just listen to some of the shit that these crackers say. And, and then you got Jake. Even getting on in, in the mix of, you know, saying OJ is guilty. And uh, the jury, I'm going to ask that you carefully listen to the verdicts as they are being read by the clerk, Mrs. Robertson. As after the verdicts have been read, uh, you will be asked if these are your verdicts. And one more thing, by the way, the penalty for adultery is death. So that was, you know, what happened. What happened to them was righteous, man. It was righteous, all right. Well, that's what the, the Bible said. That the penalty for adultery is death, and that's exactly what happened. And I would caution the audience during the course of the reading of these verdicts to uh, remain calm, and that any disrupt, if there is any disruption during the reading of the verdicts, the uh, bailiffs will have the obligation. Many persons disrupting these proceedings. <laughs> you watch white America, man. You watch, watch how the whole country go. The whole country is paralyzed. Superior Court of California. Cal now, before this please, <laughs> now I know exactly where I was during this time. Now, I was at college, some bullshit college I went to, and um, during the during this time period, there was four of us, four Jakes, in the so-called community room, and it just so happened that that particular day, the president and vice president of the college came down there to watch the verdict. You know, and there was a you know whole heap of crackers down there, and all four of us was kind of like huddled together. And whenever they read that verdict, we jumped up. Damn, they went through the roof, man. <laughs> you know, people were appalled at our behavior, as as we were told. They don't realize, man, that was one for Jake. That's right. But check this out. Of Los Angeles. In the matter of the people of the state of California versus Orenthal James Simpson, case number BA097211. The jury in the above entitled action find the defendant or it's all James Simpson not guilty of <laughs> Look at Jake. Jake all over the world, bro. Was, was fired up. Hey, now check it out. That's, that's just a, that was just one one small. I mean, you know, I'm 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 gonna say it like this. It was one small victory for Jake, man. Like the brother just said, man. You know, uh, after all this oppression and everything, man, this there was a, there was a silver lining in that cloud. All right. <laughs> Jake went crazy, but better yet, I'll, I'll let the, you know, I don't want to take away from the brother's lesson, but I'll let the brother show you the way, you know, for you younger cats that, that don't remember this or, you know, didn't go through it or, or you know, didn't see none of this, but uh, <laughs> look at the way the Edomites reacted, man. It was, it was priceless. Like the commercial, it, it was, it was priceless. Jake. That's how white America received this news after being tried in their damn system by, and, being, and being found not guilty by their damn peers. You know, I can see, I can see if it was a whole, whole jury panel of Jake, and then I can see Esau getting all, you know, bent out of shape. Right. But these crackers, these were crackers that set them loose, man. And they had to set them loose because after hearing the damn de lead detective falsified documents and plain evidence how do you expect to find somebody guilty but because of the pride and the arrogancy of these devils that shit didn't matter they wanted this man dead seething look at him 
paralyzed. Paralyzed. We can take on the other side. Hooping and hollering. Okay? Dick was happy. Just because, man. Of the white America. Look at the white America, boy. <laughs> oh, you get a scripture for them devils, boy. Oh, my goodness. This is Sirach 5. And I'm going to start at 2. It says, When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far, so far beyond all that they look for. This is the point. And they repenting and groaning in anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we have had sometimes in derision, right. and a proverb and a reproach. We fools accounted his life as madness and his end to be without honor. That's the look they're going to have when they realize that we are the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Oh, Do you see that look they had? That look of astonishment? These crackers, that's the look they're going to have when they realize that the so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, and the Latin tribes, they're going to have that same astonished look on them. Oh, it's going to be worse than that, man. They're going to have a look of terror. They're going to be like, oh, Lord. You know, I mean, like the script, like Wisdom, uh, Wisdom of Solomon just said. They're going to be the strangers of their salvation. How is he numbered amongst the children of uh, what? It was them? <laughs> My face. Okay, they go carking the boys. Now, keep in mind, man. You know, I'm not sure I, can't, I think her name was Anna. I think her name was Nicole Simpson. I think that was her name. Um, see, she was always messing around behind this man's back uh -huh. because she used to mess around with Marcus Allen. OJ's best one of OJ's best friends was a football player. Mm -hmm. They got caught out there a few nights and you know hitting the town or whatever. So Marcus Allen is like his ass is lucky, man. He's lucky it wasn't him that was on the other end of that that bleed. Okay, and then it was nothing but a, a ring of wickedness anyway, because then you had OJ, who ended up sleeping with um, the Kardashian attorney, sleeping with his wife, got her knocked up and had a kid, whom that oldest one, I think her name was Chloe. Yep. That's OJ Simpson's kid, man. So there's nothing but a, a ring of wickedness going on over there. Hey, look, now the brother's right, man. If you, I mean, I ain't in all this media garbage or you know kardashian garbage or whatnot but he, the brother's telling the truth man if you look at the uh, oldest uh, or it was the oldest one uh, uh i don't know what, who she a uh, chloe man she looked just like oj man you know the apple don't fall too uh, fall too far from the tree right and the apple got the seed don't it apple seed right when you plant when you plant your seed you uh when you uh, when a jake plants a seed a jake comes out when an apple uh, falls to the ground and, and a damn tree grows from the seed, it's an apple, it's an apple tree, All right? But chalk this one up for, you know, so-called black America, if you will. Look at white America, boy, they paralyzed. <laughs> Look at white America, <laughs> paralyzed. Oh, man. In disbelief. charges he is ordered transported to an appropriate chairs facility and released forthwith all right we'll stand and recess Somebody lies and say they planted the evidence. 
They falsified police reports. They tampered with shit. See, the so-called white man don't give a goddamn. He don't give a goddamn about no, no other humanity but himself, man. He don't give a goddamn. This is Surah 10 and 8. Because unrighteous dealings, and this is exactly what it was, unrighteous dealings, man. Right, right. But the so-called white man don't care. They can deal unrighteously and still want blood. Not one of them damn Edomites sought to say, you know what, you know, we fucked up on, we dropped the ball on this. Not even that. Let's find the real killer. I mean, hey, think about it. You got somebody out there that's a murderer. But see, they had it set up in their mind. Now we got to get him. And they ended up getting him anyway over some technicality bullshit. You know how he saw this, man. Okay. Unrighteous dealings. And this is what have you this is what happens when you have unrighteous dealings. I'm a man, whether it's a husband or whatever. And it's just saying that's still not important. Come on, come on. I mean it was so obvious. It's the biggest miscarriage of justice, and I am ashamed to be an American right now because the guy is so guilty, it's disgusting. That jury should be ashamed of themselves. Oh really? You should be man, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, man. You want to talk about injustice? This is the biggest unjust. Not, I'll be damned. What about the so-called black? Uh, what about the? Uh, uh, what about this? Uh, the uh, transatlantic slave trade, man. Written in Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixty-eight. What about that? Uh, uh, I'm ashamed to be an American. I'm ashamed. You ain't American, and you ain't you ain't shit, Esau. Shit. Okay. He this this man denounced being American right now. He's ashamed to be an American. Shame. Because of a jury. You think about think about the masses of the country right now, during this time period, I should say. The masses. They want they want this many people up in arms when John F. Kennedy got assassinated. And he was supposed to be the people's president, man. But the reason why they weren't up in arms about John F. Kennedy, because it was another cracker that killed him. See, when crackers kill crackers, you know, things just get pushed back to the back burner. But let a brother kill a cracker. The whole nation, the whole nation is going to band together. You got two lonely crackers here, man, that was put to death. And look, and just look at the amount of crackers in the world or in the country, probably throughout the world, that felt the shockwave. Verdict that they brought in. That's all I have to say. I thought they were going to find him guilty because they took over a year for this outcome. Now, this got to be the foolish thing right here. Deliberate for three hours or even a day and come out with this conclusion. So I think it's, I think this. Look at this coon. Is, uh, uh, as Sean Moore calls him, an Israel niggas. Israel nigga. Right? I mean, you're you going you gonna to have them spread out. you going to, you know, have them uh, cooning and buffooning and buck dancing. You know what I mean? So, I mean, two-thirds got to go with him, man. Anyway, any damn way, man. You know, Lord willing, I want to get them first. Lord willing. Lord willing, I'm a party of that, but, you know. <laughs> you, oh, hey, what about, uh, you know, the, uh, the, that Edomite like said, oh, I'm ashamed to be American. I'm just the worst injustice. Oh, man, what about Emmett Till, man? What about what happened to him, man? He, well, you got pictures of Jake's being hung and uh, Esau having a picnic, man. You know, picnic, that uh, stems from pick a nigger. That's what that stems from. I'll never use that term again, man. Let's go have a picnic, man. You know what you're saying? You say, we're going to go out and uh, eat uh, eat some peanut butter and jelly or whatever. Uh, a ham, uh, eat a ham sandwich and hang a nigger, man. Pick a nigger and hang him. Anyhow, man. It needs to be reviewed because this makes them all. Now, what the hell is he give a goddamn about this Goldstein guy and this, this Nicole chick? Talking about this thing got to be reviewed. See, you're always going to have them house niggas, man. Yeah, man. Who are going to come to the rescue of Esau no matter what. Right. And he's one of them right here. Talking about it wasn't right. This got to be reviewed. Be reviewed for what? You all heard the testimony of the goddamn lead detective say he fucking planted evidence and falsified shit. Well, he didn't say it directly, but by pleading the fifth, it implies that 
He did all this shit, man. Yeah, he did. Corrupt shit. And now they want to still examine. See, Jake still wants this to be examined. Okay? It don't it don't matter for one minute. Examine if yourself. Evidence was put put in place falsely. House nigga. That's all he is. He's nothing but a simple house nigga. Like I'm really disappointed in the way this all came out. Uh, I think it's Jerry. Sad, the time has come here in Los Angeles and in America that indeed there must be a level playing field for everybody. I am hurting so bad for those families. We all know he's guilty. No, he's not. We all know he's guilty. How do you know he's guilty? See, they don't care about him. They don't care about a lying cop. Boy, I bet you Ford sold a whole lot of Broncos that year. <laughs> has riveted America much more than just a murder mystery it was about race about celebrity about wealth and what wealth can buy one question hangs in the air if OJ Simpson did not murder his ex-wife and who did who did yep so be that as it may, that was the day while white America was paralyzed, man. <laughs> and these devils, these devils are gonna see the, and see and feel the same way, with the same look on their faces, concerning the, the so-called Negroes, Puerto Ricans, and you know all the Latin tribes. When the Lord starts to raise us up even more and more, you have them same confused looks on your faces, man. All right. So with that, it was just a quick hit on the... That, that was a great video, brother, by the way. Uh, everybody, everybody, all Israelites, <laughs> go to uh, Hebrews, uh, what is it? Hebrews 12, 16 through 17, and that should tell you something, all right? I want to say, I'll praise to you, how about Hashem, how about Hashem, Rekha all right? Double honors, the apostles of Great Millstone. And enough respect to all the brothers teaching the truth and sincerity. All right. Shalom to you. All right. Shalom.